What's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a special episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today I want to go over my album of the week, and that is Michigan's Great Death New Hell on Death Wish Incorporated. This is not a metal album, but it is a perfect blend of 90s indie rock with shoegaze, and it's absolutely fucking gorgeous. Some of these lyrics, I really feel like they pulled them straight out of my memories, my heart, and just wow. Like, yeah, there's parts on here, like, it sounds like fucking Morrissey. It's great. <laughs> if you're a fan of Morrissey, imagine if Morrissey hung out with Slow Dive and The Weaker Then. That's kind of the vibes that I get from this release right here. And, dude, I posted just a little clip of this on an Instagram story, and one of my friends in Swamp Beast legit was like, Yo, what band is that? And two minutes later, he's like, Yo, I ordered the LP, like, thank you, like, that was fucking awesome. And... Everyone I've showed this album to has kind of had the same reaction. This is a breath of legit fresh air. Now, is this entirely original sounding? No. Tons of bands have done this before, but has anyone done it this well? I don't think anyone has done an album that has touched me like this since Planes Mistaken for Stars, Up In Them Guts. And Up In Them Guts has a very, very personal connection to myself that I don't really want to get into, but I did end up getting that tooth pulled that was, you know, getting fucking gnarly. So, like, there's a lot of bloody nonsense all over the place. So, if I start bleeding or spitting a lot more, I apologize, but it's out of my fucking hands, okay? This song right here. Just... Holy fuck. Do you feel nothing? I wish I would have wrote this song. Because I feel like I live this on a daily basis. The lyrics of this song just... Legit, it's like, fuck yeah. And there's that slow dive influence, and it sounds amazing. Like I was saying, you don't need to just listen to death metal, black metal constantly, but you know what else was pretty close to getting, you know, album of the week? Blood Incantation, Hidden History of the Human Race on cassette because this sounds fucking gnarly on tape. But this is a tale for a different day. We're going to talk about this album again because as much as I love the LP, like I, I want to compare these two because they both were recorded 100% with analog equipment. But... Another runner-up when it comes to Album of the Week. Basmahu. Enshrined in Eternity. Canadian black metal that is just absolutely filled with atmosphere and just raw as fuck, yet just awesome, awesome black metal. Like... Just check out fucking Casting the Curse, Primal Magic. It's just so fucking good. Enshrined in Eternity by Basmahu. And you know how I feel about Hidden History of the Human Race by Blood Incantation. Now, Great Death, New Hell. Not only was it tugging on my heart muscles, but like... It's just 
so well written, so well performed. The artwork is absolutely amazing. The cassette is sold out and I really need to grab this on wax because I'm sure this sounds just as sick on vinyl. Again, a gorgeous, gorgeous slipcase. The artwork here is second to none. I think the layouts by Jacob Bannon, or the designs by Jacob Bannon. The artwork is by Liam Rush. And this was actually recorded at Sam's Cabin in Sheboygan, Michigan. How do I know how to pronounce Sheboygan? Because I've been there once. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it though, but Great Death is Logan Gavel, Sam Boyarati, sorry if I mispronounce anything, and Jim Verlis. It's one of those albums that lyrically, like, you know, wow. I hate my friends because they don't hate themselves and they shut me up. I want to be like them. I don't want to talk. I don't want to think about my days till I waste them all and I feel boring, fucking boring. And what do I do if I don't feel like getting well again? Cause I'm not done yet and I'm still young, yeah. And what are you thinking about when I got you on my mind, man? Do you feel nothing? Fucking nothing? Wow. I drove to Chicago in my sleep in a dream. I told all my friends that we'd still speak. But it's been 15 weeks and now they're through with me. In a land where the gods are dead, I can still hear their stations and the radio towers bend. Very, very remnant of a band called The Weaker Thens from Canada. Which is one of the reasons I love this album so much. It's a perfect blend of shoegaze elements and like late 90s indie rock slash emo. And I'm not talking about that sideways haircut, white belt, girl pant crap. I'm talking about, you know, bands like Texas is the Reason and stuff like that. But... Mostly, there's a lot of slow dive influence on here, but there's... It's one of those releases that Death Wish just... Jacob Bannon is one of those people, I feel... Doesn't get mentioned enough on this channel. But when it comes to my personal life, you know, an album like Jane Doe really, really changed the course of things. I didn't know a band like Converge coming off of Petitioning the Empty Sky could write something that to me was the hardcore version of None So Vile. Like that was the album that I felt I was like, alright, I'm kind of done with traditional hardcore. Like how many times can I listen to the same Gorilla Biscuit 7 inch? Don't get me wrong, I fucking love the Gorilla Biscuits and like Kid Dynamite. I love that fun type of hardcore, but at the same time, I love when a band can legit pull on my heartstrings with lyrics that I wish I was intelligent enough to put on paper because I feel 99% of these songs like on a personal level. And, you know, you might be like, oh, this is, you know, like, why, why are you being such a wimp? Dude, you can listen to whatever the fuck you want. I listen to The Smiths, I listen to Joy Division, but then I'll listen to Swans. Like, one of the heaviest, gnarliest bands ever. I'll throw Undergang on, and then, you know, I'll be in the mood to listen to Planes Mistaken for Stars or Hot Water Music. The Get Up Kids, like, I'm all over the place. It's not just death metal, black metal, and grind. That's mostly this channel. But, 
this release right here, the fact that I showed this to a bunch of people and they went out and just bought the album, kind of, to me, speaks volumes on how great New Hell is by Greek Death. Like, especially the homies in Swamp Beast. Like, my buddy was like, yo, I listened to about, like, two songs and I pre-ordered the LP. It's like, fuck yeah, man. Like, that's awesome. I really need to grab this on wax. I just wanted to get the cassette. I had a feeling it would sell out on tape. And it sounds absolutely gorgeous. The cosmetics, wow. The art here is absolutely amazing. The music matches up perfectly. Like right here, if you've heard the Weaker Thans, this sounds so much like the Weaker Thans vocally. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Like it's, you know, fucking great. You don't really hear that many bands, you know, taking a page from the Weaker Thans book and making it their own. But Greek Death managed to mix it up with bands like Slow Dive and Codeine and just make something fucking beautiful that really is something that I needed this week. This week has been legit hell. Not just getting surgery on my face and stuff, but like, it's been just a gnarly, lonely week. And... You know, it is what it is, but a release like New Hell by Greek Death is one of those albums that helps you through hard times. You know that term, like, music heals all wounds? Well, Greek Death, New Hell, definitely putting a band-aid over a lot of them. There's a lot of, like, kind of Western twang as well. Like, I was saying, it's very, very remnant of the Weaker Thans, who I feel had a very similar style in their prime. And I can't get over how fucking good this is. I'll read you the tracks real quick, and you guys can get back to watching the Super Bowl. You have circles of hell. Do you feel nothing? Let it die. You're gonna hate what you've done. Entertainment, Strange Days, Strain, Crush, and the title track, New Hell, which is so goddamn good. But like, sometimes I wish you were in my life. Every single day I'm feeling so blue. Sit around the house with nothing to do. The voices in my room remind me of you. And I just want to know what you've been up to. But I won't call all your homies. Because we don't talk and they don't know me. Wow. Fucking wow. I... I'm in love with this right here, and say what you want, but Greek Death, New Hell, Album of the Week, fuck yes. Even if you're not a fan of, like, this style of music, give it a chance. This is something that, like I said, it really, if you're a human being, there's something in this album lyrically that you can relate to. So definitely get into Death Wish Incorporated, Greet Hell and their new release. I meant Greet Death and their new release, New Hell. It's a fucking masterwork. From Sheboygan, Michigan. On Death Wish Incorporated, Greek Death, New Hell, amazing stuff. And also the runners up, Bosmu, Enshrined in Eternity. One of my old favorite YouTubers, but I'm not going to give away any more info than that. 
Thank you, John Randall, for fucking hooking that up. And thank you, Aaron, for doing a sick tape trade. And finally getting this in my hands on cassette. I've actually been going back and forth and... LP and cassette and just enjoying them both, but I keep crawling my way back to greet death and new hell. So fucking good. And today's video was made possible by ginger ale. Even though I know it has sugar in it and I probably shouldn't be pouring it in an open wound. Fuck it. But... If you're a fan of shoegaze, indie rock, or you just want something refreshing in your life, I can't recommend this enough. Greek Death, New Hell, 10 out of 10, A fucking plus. So good. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking roll. Enjoy the game and whatnot if you're into that sort of thing. Hurts. <laughs>